Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy Fishing with Gable 509. And someone told me to post up a video how to catch pinks or the how to fish in the Puyallup River. And um, I just barely learned that <laughs> do not use small leaders. I was using probably like five, five or six liters. It was like, like that big. And then I met one of my subscribers yesterday fishing and he showed me how to set them up so this is what you gotta do you gotta get half an ounce cannonball with the uh, what do they call these uh, three-way swivels if you can see and that's how I set them up and if you're gonna use a thin pinch, use it for the pinch for the, so they won't lose the, the cannonball. And then, so, what he told me is that I was using small line, probably like five or six inches, I mean feet, <laughs> of the line. So he, what he told me is that you have to stretch. Oh, wait, it got stretch. Oh, I'll fix it. I'll fix it right now. This is a long, long leader. It's like a 10. But I'm using braided line black. Oh man, it got tangled. I know I should have set it up first. My neighbor. Uh, it's kind of hard when you have braided line. The braided line. The braided line. Oh, I got it. I think I do. Okay, I got it right. So this is what he told me to do. Wait, let me fix it first. Oh, I think I got it. So, this is what I use. I, I use a small little corky. Small little corky. I think it's size 14 and a size 2 hook. But remember, pinch your barbs. As you can see, you gotta pinch your barbs. And he was telling me I was probably losing like a liter this long from the hook to my other hand but I will stretch it out like this and he said that that's too small so when he showed me he goes like you have to stretch your arm your hooks on this side sorry I was gonna burp <laughs> so stretch your arm grab it and then and then stretch your arm again that's probably like 10th I don't know that's long look at from here to here Stretch your arms, and then hold it where you stretch your arm. That's how long you have to have it. That is long. This is my first time ever trying it like that. I couldn't do it because it was too hard. But you have to get used to it. And then the pull that I'm using is a nine, nine six uh, Akuma. It's a 9.6 length medium action with a black braided line, 20 pound test line. And then I got this one at the Amazon, probably like 50, 40 bucks. It's a MT7000, holds more line. Yeah, so like that. And then remember it has some backup. This is what you need for backup, just in case your line snaps. You can when you're if you're in the river, you have this for backup, and then in here you have your weights. So just in case you in case you like snap and you don't want to go back in shore, 
you put your weights in here and you put your swivels in here and you put your corkies inside here but i already have them all set up so there you go you know so size two hook pinch the barb because you'll get in trouble i think these are size 14 corkies i think they're like 20 cents at the sport co in five washington and then the half ounce Hounds cannonball. I think I think they're like 36 cents. And then connect it with the swivel, the ones that you pinch so you won't when you throw it out, it won't open. So that's how I have my setup. And then I have the three-way hook. I mean three-way swivel. And remember, just stretch your line, stretch it, hold it, and then grab it and then hold it, and that's how long you have to have it. You know that. That one, um, Giovanni, he was, he showed me how to do it, and I was losing the fish, and then I caught one in my last video. <coughs> but man, him, he will just, he'll throw it out there, and then you'll see your weight, it'll be like going, and then when you feel it stop, and tug, pull it, because that's a fish. You know, the fish, I don't think, the fish over there in, in the peel up, I don't think they're eating. It's that one, they're going, they're going up your weight. Oh yeah, see how it does it. I think your weight goes down and then this thing, it's going, your hook is going down, swimming down, your weight's going down and it grabs them and they open their mouth and it goes into their mouth and then after your weight goes and that's when it gets stuck and you just pull it. I think like that, it's calling, I don't know, I never heard flossing before. <laughs> That's crazy. Never. This is my first time ever hearing flossing. But I don't know. Some people say you can't do that. Some people say we're flossing. You know, fish ain't eating. That that water's too dark. Too dark, dark. How the fish can they see the food or see it? You know, they're opening their mouth. The bobber, the bobber. Why do you keep saying bobber? The weight goes down. This thing goes in their mouth when they're opening, and then they get the the weight gets like feels like it's stuck and you pull it and that's a fish that's why it is you know that's i don't know i never heard flossing before it's crazy but there you go i hope this helps you know i use a 9.6 and on my other videos i use a, a 7.6 so there you go but to me i always use a 9.6 more better to throw it out there so i use this is a mono mono line and then I use a a three-way swivel the half ounce cannonball and then the braided line so I hope that will help you guys remember keep on fishing never stop good luck out there on the peel up I'll be out there Thursday Yeah, you messed up my video.